So um, at that time where you start, we're like thinking is that is this guy coming for a fee alone? Are you like promoting? Because you were talking more of a fee. That along the line, I now realize that you have we even had some kind of not you're, you're not in good terms with a fee. So what happened at that point? And you were talking about Shelly Finko, if a living PBC, you need to change his manager, guy, go get you need to be paid. You cannot be there and not be paid well. I know all those signs. So <laughs> you're not talking about a fee and Joshua issue. So I was like, okay. And we're not talking, you, 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 even then, something you said that I, I really respect and I admire so much. You said, I will criticize Efe on my platform, but I'll also support him. I'll push him. I'm sending for the best of Efe. So I was like, oh, I salute this guy. This guy is really, from his heart, he's being honest. He's just, he's just the key for this guy, for my own people. Not to say because he hates Efe. Which at that time you were saying maybe Efe hates you or something. Efe feels like you are hating on him. So just, I don't want to go into the story, but just brief us what happened. How do you guys now amend that listen and now for me i'll say that if it's like you are if a number one place to come and drop interview so if 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 is my brother that. F, F, I'm, I'm also if you forget i'm also if my name yeah is yeah you know, yes yeah if as so well is, yes so is is my name we might yeah, we might be of different tribes is yes. Urubu, i'm edo yeah, but you. We are, we are the same name, you know? oh, I do, I do. No, no, no. We are Medo. I'm yeah. from Benin, Asian city of Benin. Yeah. Okay. And you have to understand that if you know the history of Robo, uh, yeah. they actually migrated from the Great Benin Empire. You know, I was uh, around the 14th, 15th century. Mm. So I mean, I'm very, I'm very good with history. You know, I know my history very well. Mm, um. Cool. So the thing is that about Efia Jagba and how, you know, the or the the genesis, okay, of that uh, little, little, little understanding. I said little understanding, misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Uh, the thing we say, man, <laughs> the thing we say, man, um, I will say, um, Efia Jagba, when I started talking about Efia Jagba, you know, I found about, I started, I've, I've known Efia Jagba before he went to the Olympics. Because like I said, I told you, I've been a boxing fan since I was 10 I years old. Mm -hmm. I just that just that Europe made me forgot about following it in a way, you know. So at some point I started following it again. Mm. And I, I found out about Fair Jumbo, you know, before the, you went to the Olympics, real Olympics. Ah, this guy is good, huh? So I watched that fight and that famous knockout, you know, already now. Mm. You know, that no that famous he scored the best knockout in uh, 2016 uh, Olympics in Rio. Mm. So um when I saw, I was like, ah, this guy is good. But why is nobody talking about him? You know, that was a year before I created my platform. Okay. Remember, that was one of the main, I said the main, the main reason I created Boxing Plus was to uplift Nigerian boxing, boxing. and boxers, African Nigerian yeah. boxers. Mm. Was to uplift because I saw that they, were, they weren't really getting the shine like that. So I started following the future bus journey. So it was so nice when I heard the news. I watched an interview on uh, on Channel TV. They interviewed that they said they were going to America, America him and Apochi that you know to spar the you know, water and all those kind of stuff. I was like, wow, that's good, you know. I said, this is good now. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. So they, of course, we now uh, uh, some months later, I found out. Okay, I was signed with uh, Charlie Finko, you know. And is with PBC, and you know that time um, the Joshua Mata done the you know you know the Joshua the Joshua side. It's the, yeah, the, and the whole. Uh, it's not it's not really like the rivalry, you know. Uh, began mm -hmm. began between I think it was in 2017, right? 17. 2017 after the Klitschko fight, yeah. right? So, um, if Jagba, of course, you know he you know he he was he was new into the into the game. You, you know, remember he made his a. Uh, professional debut in 2017 mm. so um i was like okay this this is good right here and i started you know following up at jagba and i started talking about him you know so the first video i did about of a jagba i did of a jagba you know when i made a video about him and um he got like two views you know mm. and he got like two views at first so I didn't, I mean, I, I don't look at numbers anyway. I just make videos like that. Mm. And I was surprised that a few, a couple of days later, and different people started commenting. 
And people started saying, oh, bro, why are you like, like they just ridiculing, ridiculing that Jack Bar, ridiculing me in a way and talking, you know, just talking to Mark, you know, those uh, t- trolls, you know. Yeah. So I was like, no, no, no. So I saw a lot of resentment, you know, coming from some people. Okay. I don't know them. I don't know. I cannot tell you they are from this side or this side. Yeah. So I said, me, yeah, I said, I will, I will keep promoting that Jagba. That I, I, then that really kind of motivated me now to start talking more about Jagba. Mm. I started talking more about Jagba every every week. Uh, I must talk about Jagba. <laughs> and people started knowing that people started knowing that Jagba, Jagba, Nina, Jagba, Jagba, Jagba. I'm talking about. I'm not saying people didn't know Jagba before BBC. Only the people, the people, the hardcore boxing fans, especially yeah. those that watch the Olympics, you know, yeah. you know, only hardcore boxing fans watch boxing Olympics or yes, I'm watching, the Afri- yeah. African games, games, the African games. <laughs> Remember, he won gold at the African games. Okay, so that was in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, 2015. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, so I started talking about the guy, and you know, and at some point. I was now as since Ajagba has got that. There's you, you, you when you look at Ajagba, you see a monster. You know, you see a monster, you see a well-built guy, you see a guy that can put Nigerian boxing on the map. The map. Yeah. You know, we know Joshua is a Nigerian, he's got Nigerian uh, ancestry. Ajagba was born and bred in Nigeria. Mm. You know, so. If Ajaba were to become big now, for example, he will. I was at that time. I was like, if this guy become big, more Nigerians might 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 be inspired more by they will, they will get inspired more by Ajaba than Joshua because mm. Ajaba was born in Nigeria, Nigeria and he wasn't born into wealth. Okay, mm. he didn't come from a rich family. Mm. He came from the trenches. Mm. So coming from the trenches, there are so many people in Ugeli where it's in Delta State. Yeah, where the like this these guys, you know, inspiration. They they are in the they were in this they are in the same position as a Jagba. Mm. A Jagba now is here now. Like mm. Jagba is like is here now. Is of course I surpassed that level, you know. But imagine a Jagba, you know, achieving something. For example, becoming a world champion, you know, and then going back mm. to his roots, like going back to Ugeli. You know, how do, don't you think? New people, new generation, we, we, we get inspired. Yes, they get inspired, yes. Not just really, just people like the people people from the trenches. I'm from the trenches in Nigeria. You know, I, you know what I mean? So mm. people from the trenches will get inspired with like, oh my god, if this guy can if this guy if this guy if this, if this guy can do it, yeah, I can, can also do, do it. it. Yeah, you know, because in Nigeria, boxing is seen as you know, grab grab something, those kind of things. Yeah, so those you know. who are not serious, those who don't want to go to school. Yeah, that you understand kind of things, thing, you know. Kind of thing, yeah. But uh, one thing I have to thank Joshua for is that Joshua brought class to it. Yes. You know, you know when Nigerian parents they might criticize you and everything when you say you want to become a boxer, but or anything like I remember back in the days when people, I mean, people had uh, uh, they they aspired to to become footballers or so, yeah, be footballers, and their parents didn't allow them to to do that, but. Now, no Nigerian parents will say don't do no. don't do that because they know no. money is involved. When Papillo started doing Papillo, everybody won't become football at that time. If you remember, Papillo yeah, advertisement, pick pra- milk. No, but no, but prior <laughs> to that, now, like you, if you remember the era, we say you tell Nigerian parents, say man, you want to become early, you want to sport. Yes. That's a, a girl carry your boom, go do engineering, yeah. they, they, you know, you know, daughter, they, they not do, lawyer, they, they not do, all kinds of things. Like they were just discouraging away. But I see me the money don't enter. See me, ah, if you play football, money do. Yeah. I make the country last for the matter. You know. So now, because imagine what a nation like Nigeria can really do if we grow our sports facility, if we invest in it. Mm. Just imagine, just imagine a nation of 200 million, more people. than 200 million people yeah. with strong genetics, okay, with majestic. I say majestic for a reason. Majestic genetical cords. Just imagine. Uh, in Butali. Because you know, say, when Nigerian, Nigerians, when they focus on something and they will they will excel in it. Yeah. Be it education, Anything. be it sports, Anything. you know, 
be it entertainment, they this is what I'm saying. Nigerians, when they put their when they put their all in something, they they thrive. Yes. So yes. just imagine that. So now um yeah, it got to a point where I was like, I wanted to see Ajagba at the top. And what really pissed me off was when, you know, when there was a B card, hmm? when there was a B card, Ajaba will not be, you know, featured on it. Mm. Huh? So you want to grow this guy as a monster. You know he has a monster. If you want to grow his star power, you him have to yet. feature him on B cards. Yes. Yes. No, because you could put out for small cards. Because no, you don't know what they did here for Listen, the fight. People now come. And I, and I was very, I was very adamant in making sure a Jagba is successful. Because listen, I love a Jagba. I love all our Nigerian fighters. I want to see them do well. I don't really get Shishi for any of any of them. I don't really <laughs> get anything for any of them. Yeah. But I that Nigerian in me that want to see them succeed. Mm. Uh, because I know, say, if they succeed, there are so many people out there that we look up to them and we also want to succeed. It's even our success as well because it gives our country a good name. We don't get a lot of different um different bad um view. That that mm. perception about Nigeria, Africa, don't be mm. too bad. So we want to see some good maybe we'll represent us. We get a lot of good people. We want to see more of these people represent us the best possible way. Like even currently what did Apple Ajab now it's something that is when I go to rankings now. I'm seeing Ajab by every I'm like, oh my god, this is sitting so boxing block statue. Nine that happened today. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like when I when when at a time when I was like wanting a Jagba to like you know be featured in B cards, you know, mm. then I was surprised that I didn't even know that uh uh people in PBC they, they watch my channel. Mm. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like the people that work with PBC. So they saw so my stuff. channel. So when they search for a Jagba, they always see my videos. Mm. You know, bashing Telefinko, you know, like telling Telefinko to do to do better. Put a Jagba mm. in big cards, you know, do mm. this, do that. And I one time when I heard a Jagba got paid, you know, the um, the amount he got paid, I was like, wow, really? You mean you just our brother just put his life on the line? Just go get that kind but of that amount, yeah. I said, no, nah, man, that one too small. The guy deserves better. This is a star, right? This is a star in the making. And also, you need to I just I I I I also reiterated that Ajagba should be marketed to Nigerians. Mm. Like, you cannot listen. Americans, there is no way an American, like, let's say, for example, the ADBC guy, there's no way they will stand Ajagba. Mm. Because it's not one of them. It's not. It's not. There's no way Americans will stand Ajagba. Like, we say, oh, Ajagba, this one, I'm a die half of Ajagba. No. They want to know some, some that... boxing platform who know about Ajaba's skills. They can see that this name Frank Sanchez would humble him. I'm like, what do you guys want? Why, why, why they hate me? I feel like I just like be balanced at least. This guy already proved a lot. So, so I get where you're coming from. I get your point. That yeah, like, I wanted a, I wanted Ajaba like I know I wanted PBC to focus on building Ajaba's fan base uh, with Nigerians. You know, mm-hmm. it could be Nigerians in the diaspora, Nigerians back home. It doesn't matter. Now let me make an example. Look at a fat budget right now. You saw his fight, his, la- his fight last night. Yeah. You saw the crowd, bro. Those are Nigerians yeah. who flew all the way. Like you know, you saw Ay there. Hmm. Ay was with uh, uh all these guys. They flew from different cities. Hmm. Some even flew from Nigeria hmm. just wow. to Go watch Rafa Bajeri to support him. You know that shows. The star power for a budget because when you have your people around you and people will take you more serious, yeah, than you know, what I mean, than seeking for validation from certain fan base that don't like you. First of all, you're African, okay, you know, what I mean, yeah. So, this is what this was, this is what this was what I like really uh made me, you know, speak more. Was I was I spoken about it and um. Someone in a Jaguar's camp, you know, saw that as a threat, you know, and mm. uh, asked Ajaba to block me or so. Oh. I don't want to mention, I know the person, I don't want to mention the name. Mm. I don't, I know the person, I don't want to mention it because if I mention it, I, I just, I just, I just, I just explode for the guy matter. Mm. That's that. So, the Ajaba could block me. And when Ajaba blocked me, I was like, okay, 
I know that Jagba, I know that Jagba is a very intelligent guy. He, he's a very quiet guy, but he's intelligent. You understand? And I know why he did so. And this, the Joshua attack on Kong, because the PBC were trying to, to create that to, rivalry between uh, two camps. They, they want create, they want, they want create a trade between Joshua and Jagba. Mm. This, this, these are two Nigerians. Mm. Okay. Joshua might be born in the UK, but still Nigerian. Mm. Okay. It doesn't take away his Nigerianness. Mm. Of course, it's not going to be like a Jagba that grew up in the trenches. I'm from the trenches. Joshua don't have Joshua don't have one percent of the strength that I have, you know, you know, in terms of Nigeria matter, like mm. you know, growing up in Nigeria. Yeah. Because there are three types of people in Nigeria. There are pe- people that grew up in Lostry that don't know that ne- never know suffering. Mm. They have never they never see suffer for life. Mm. And there are ones that are like middle class, middle you know, class. they don't suffer, you know. Majority. There are ones that go from the, the trenches. Mm. You understand? And I'm from the trenches. In the film, so I'm not saying trenches, trenches, but from the trenches <laughs> because my, my parents were able to afford my education yes. and stuff. And mm. uh, but people there are people who their parents couldn't even afford their education, yeah. yeah. Those are the, from the trenches, trenches, mm. from the trenches, 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 yeah. and I'm from the trenches, you know. You understand? So, yeah. like, I've that was potential, I saw it, I've always believed in him, and like. It was a long battle, bro. Like, and I got a message from someone say, "Oh, if you talk about if you if you don't if you talk good about uh, about PVC, we'll tell Jabba to unblock you." I said, "If that's the re- if 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 that is what you guys are telling me to do, uh, then I'm not doing it because I have mm. my own opinion. You don't. You're not the owner of my platform. Yeah. Uh, let me get my mouth. You understand? As long as I know I'm on the right side of history, mm-hmm. because." Now I'm on the right side of history. Okay, as long as I'm on, the, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the best for my brother Ajabo, because I know he deserves better. Mm. So, you now saw what happened at last. Mm-hmm. You know, all those things. Where they, even some people said that, that time they hit, they come to listen. That time, if you come my channel, that time, eh? People, you're not gonna see one positive message about Ajabo from my channel. <laughs> You know that time. Do that time now. You will see people who just carry my they carry my matter for you. Go go out that bad DM. Go they blast them anyhow. Mm-hmm. You know that time that do not that's like yes. understand. So yes. I was not happy because they will send me a screenshot. Say me see what I send that bad say me. Yeah, those are making things worse. Yeah. You know it's not necessary. Like uh, it's not necessary. You know, but I understand Nigerian. I got it. Nigerians. You know they. You know, especially when when it come when it came to Joshua, you know, mm. like they don't want to, Nigerians don't want to see Nigerians uh, having problems. Yeah, because you know Ni- we don't get that thing many from Nigeria. So when mm. we did Western World right here, NATO you need Unite. to evolve, mm. evolve from that mentality, you know, from that divisive mentality, all those kind of things. Mm. They pit people against each other, all those kind of things. You understand? So the PBC tried to use a jackpot against against Joshua, and well. It didn't. It didn't work. Now, mm-hmm. you know, and I, I had to, I had to, I had to tip in. Okay, you know, you know what I mean. So, if I did not do that, maybe I never go stay there with PBC now. Maybe you know, we don't know where. Maybe I don't want to mention the our that guy name, but you see what just happened recently. Mm. With the, the guy lost. Now the other guy said not to give a rematch. PBC said that guy helped too. They don't say. They said that guy helped. They don't say man. Mm. He's already three years old. What's he got? Well, he's, he's not. He's, he's got no time left. Because mm. Ajaba was the prize. Ajaba was the prize for them. Mm. Ajaba was the prize for PBC. This is a fact. Yeah. Ajaba was. The, Ajaba is the reason why they took the other bro along. If not for Ajaba, I mean, he, he, he go even tell yourself. So this is what I'm saying. Ajaba was the prize, but. You know, Ajakba left, and now the as I said, oh, you're now the you know you you're now you're not number, you're not rank number one. You you're now in in, in a what you won your water to eliminator. Why are you going to find another fight if you, if you are in the water to eliminator? If you don't you already get you already get that, that position. Mm-hmm. Now for you to wait for the for the for the for the for the for the champion, yeah, to fight you to man up a challenge for the belt. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then you take that fight. I know it took that you know it took that fight as a warrior, but he was set up. I know the game now. 
now nah, nah, you don't lose now nah, nah, the other guy said no, if I can't get down, the other guy, the other guy not take your position mm-hmm. and if the guy don't give a rematch nothing go happen nothing nothing yeah nothing you see what I'm saying yeah so like it's just like what it is bro like I'm glad now me and Jack but we are I mean, I'm just my brother. Well, you know, it's always good team. Yeah, that's good to know. So, how did that come, come, come to play? You send a message or what? Okay, let me tell you how this happened. <laughs> I have to, I have to take a Jabba's girlfriend, current girlfriend. Oh, okay. Because she understood this. Mm. Yeah, she's the one that linked me up with a Jabba. Mm. Yeah, a Jabba already unblocked me some some time ago. You know, I didn't know that. You know, I didn't mm. even know that because I, I wasn't really checking out on what he's doing all this kind of yeah, stuff. People, yeah, yeah. people, people, people sent me a link or or say so Ajaba is doing this. I report about it, but I wasn't really checking out, checking, checking him up because he already blocked me. So um one day, you know, I saw the the girlfriend, like uh, you know, I bless her. I I, 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 better, I, I felt right then before. I wrote it before. Mm. You know, I feel right the girlfriend before. See, ah, uh, um, I beg if he see if Ajaba go get town kind of things. Well, Ajaba, because Ajaba can't unblock me. I, I see and say unblock me. I'm gonna say maybe the guy don't don't realize it, man. Because after you after the, uh, he unblock me after coming for PBCU. Oh yeah yeah. Well, that's recent. After not too long. Yeah yeah no. yeah. This is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yes, that. So he unblock me after coming for PBCU. Now he unblock me. Mm-hmm. That means he left all those drama out. He, he now realized that. I was not the enemy. Yeah. I was actually the guy that cared, cared for him. You know? Fighting for his interests. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I don't get anything for his I don't want to get anything for his side. I, <laughs> I, I get my own thing. Yeah. You know? But I just want... Just Success to see, for him. See, mm. Another Nigerian brother is... is like Just to... Like, you know, say, I need to be... I, you know, just for pride. I mean, mm. ah, our brother is also there. Yeah. You know, when you mention, when you mention top 10 every, every fighters... It's to be among. Yeah, it's a pride you know, for us. We're, we're happy to see that. You know, tell you in a big hunt of our, all Nigerians. So, so you see what I'm saying? That was all I was doing, bro. You know, that was all I did it for. Mm. So awesome. you see that so. Wow, wow. So I'm happy to get that exclusive now. Oh. But I noticed anybody don't ask you that question. So I'm happy to know the story, what happened, how you guys resolved the whole thing, and good to know. Nani 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 girlfriend, I I connect me to the one. I tell me say me ingo talk to a job boy. Okay. See me, you know, Ajaba will give me interview. So from that first interview we we'll do, from there it became everything became smooth, you know. And I mean Ajaba they talk, you know, okay. right okay. I say how far they check on now. Kind of so like all oh, oh, good, right? I said, see me, our other brother will be saying, man, you know, you know right? the one we really talk about now. So yeah. <laughs> so that one I used to say, me, I mean I don't I don't I don't watch my for that one matter. Mm. You understand? Mm. You know, because if anything you leave her alone, you just you leave her alone. Mm. But I like say they, they try to tell person or try to, you know, to give your opinion. The person just saying no pass you, mm. you know. But you just leave us. Okay, now you you just leave us. Now the the fight not get balls, nothing. There's mm. no boss for that fight now. Mm. You know, I put the fight. There's more views than I put the fight than that one. Mm. It's a fact. There's more balls. You know, he Wait, does, you, this, you talk this, about uh, Secumber ready for cruiserweight. <laughs> <My brother>. Because <laughs> I, w- <laughs> I just could now. Because I won't ask, but anyway, I could just call that part because I will. Yeah, yeah, I won't yeah. talk more about that part, but I get your point because yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are, you are free, 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 free to ask me that part. Okay, it's not, it's not a problem. Yeah. No problem. Okay, okay, okay.